I, Dr. Pankaj Kumar, working as a junior consultant cardiologist in Narayana Health in Jamshedpur, a city in Jharkhand. I just give you a latest update in hypertension. Now, introduction. As per WHO, nearly 63% of total death in India are due to non communicable diseases, of which 27% are attributed to cardiovascular diseases, which affects 45% of people in the 40 to 69 age group. Raised blood pressure is among the most important risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. Moreover, it remains poorly controlled due to the lower awareness about hypertension. Lack of appropriate care for primary care and poor follow-up. In India, the prevalence has gone up to over 30 years to 38% in men and 32% in women for 29% and 28% respectively. WHO, despite that, nearly half of the people are 51% of men and 41% of women with hypertension were unaware of the condition. Additionally, over 62% of the men and more than 53% of the women living with hypertension did not get treatment. Medication was used to control pressure in a fewer than one in five men and one in four women with hypertension worldwide. This was published in WHO Alliance 2021. International Society of Hypertension has released the 2020 Global Hypertension Practice Guideline. The inclusion of optimal and essential treatment problem attempt to address the issue that in resource poor setting, optimal care to evidence based standard care out and whereas essential standard refer to minimum standard of care to allow a specification of essential standard of care for low resource setting. The AHA ACC had released a scientific session a statement in 2021 offering new guidelines for management of stage one hypertension among people with low atherosclerotic cardiovascular risk. Among low risk adults, no ASD or over, over 10 years CBD risk less than 10, 10% with stage one hypertension, blood pressure 132. 139, systolic and diastolic 80 to 89 millimeters. Management starts with non pharmaceutical therapy. If blood pressure remains uncontrolled at three to six months, considering to start pharmacological therapy, acute respiratory distress syndrome is a genetic potential fatal condition involving lung damage, and experts often associate with severe COVID 19. A recent study, which appeared in the Journal of American College of Cardiology, reports that metoprolol can reduce lung inflammation and improve respiratory function in people with COVID-19 induced ARDS. This was published in Call Cardiolol 2021 September. Lowering systemic blood pressure targets down to 110 to less than 130 range substantially reduced CV adverse effect in the stepped randomized trial, affirming the sprint finding for an older Chinese people among some 8,500 patients, age 6 to 80 percent. 80 in China, the intensive target trimmed 26% of the composite CV Rex. Finding for no and second major trial support a lower target could the guideline, which even amongst US professional society range from threshold of 130 to 150. With regards to prognostic value of ambulatory blood pressure monitoring and nighttime blood pressure, the 2000 European guideline, 2018 European guideline on the management of atrial hypertension recommended that the diagnosis of hypertension should not only be dependent on office VP measurement, but also an out-of-office measurement, such as ambulatory BP monitoring or home blood pressure monitoring, 24 hours and nighttime BP management were associated with risk of mortality and composite of CV outcome. Thus, they may be considered as the most relevant measurement for estimating CV rex. For every 20 by 10 millimeter increment in BP measurement at night, the risk of mortality increased by 23% and risk of cardiovascular event by 36%. Most patients with hypertension require lifelong medical therapy to achieve optimal blood pressure control. The 2018 European guideline equally recommended five class of antihypertensive drugs considering high non hindrance treatment. The importance of combination treatment is particularly highlighted to improve adherence to therapy and BP control. Therefore, the 2018 European guideline recommended, especially in the content of lowering BP target, to start antihypertensive therapy with initial drug fixed dose combination of AC inhibitor or ARB 
plus calcium channel blocker or diuretics. Since early July 18, product containing valsartan have been recalled worldwide. The reason is the detection of known carcinogen, namely N nitrosodomethylene element, NM NDMA, which can be found in candy sartan, RV sartan and low sartan, Olmi sartan and valsartan. NMD has been classified by WHO, International Agency for Research on Cancer by Carcinogen in human. If 1 lakh people would have received NMDA contained valsartan from Ji Jang Hujai manufacture site where the highest level of contaminant was found every day for six years in the highest dose, it could result in 12 additional liver cancer over the lifetime of this patient. The presence of NMDA in the drug could lead to eight additional cancer cases in one lakh patient if they have taken the highest daily dose over four years. While certain recall accompanied by significant increase in the rate of emergency department visit of plus minus six percent. The Hygia study represent the largest study that tested nighttime antihepatitis treatment. In this trial, coronary therapy was associated with significant reduction in the end point, including death. The Hygia coronary therapy trial tested whether nighttime therapy is comparison to usual upon awaking hypertension therapy exerts a favorable CV reduction. The largest study in the included a total of 19,000 hypertensive patients during an average follow-up 6.3 years. More than 1,700 participants experienced a primary CV outpoint. And ambulatory PPP management was performed for 48 hours to collect data on home BP different during sleep. The respiratory rate reduction for CV event was significantly improved for nighttime treatment when compared with awakening treatment. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.